gang, what's good? My name is Jared David Buffington and I am a son of God. I want to talk to you today based off Matthew 6. And Jesus warns us not to make your spiritual practice a spectacle for others. Especially in order to get attention from others. The key to spiritual growth is the death of of the ego or the death of self Jesus says if you want to gain your life ego you have to lose your life ego so the only way to grow spiritually is to die to that carnal selfish ego um, immature material plain self um, die to it that's how you ascend closer to God and that's the mark of enlightenment um, and he says that if you do this to get attention from men uh, if you use your spiritual practice to get attention from men then you won't get a reward from the father from God you'll get your reward by getting attention from men now some people start practicing um, doing rituals praying uh, trying to get power so that they can make their lives better with people. They want to have riches to fit in with people more. They want to seem powerful to get attention, to get influence, to be a YouTube influencer. And um, these things and these motives are a sign that you have not grown spiritually. You are not a guru. You are not a master if you desire these things. So, the reason that God rewards your spiritual practice in a material way, in a way that gives you influence, authority, prosperity, is not to make you fit in with people. It's to draw people in to the same relationship that you have with God. You see? So, it's not that God doesn't want to give you the stuff. He really wants to give you the stuff. But the reason for giving you the stuff is advertisement to encourage other people to seek him out as well. So do not seek that stuff. And the reason you're seeking that stuff is because there's some kind of unresolved trauma from your childhood where you're insecure. You don't think that you're enough. You think that something has to be added to you for you to be worthy of love or before you are willing to give love to others. And this is a trap. This is not true. God knew you before you were in your mother's womb. And he formed you. And he gave you a purpose and a destiny. And while you were still his enemy, you were still in sin, Christ gave his life for you. So if he gave his life for you while you were his enemy, how much more will he give you now that you're one with him and you're a child of God? So um, kind of check yourself, man. Um, and if you notice those kind of ego practices, um, you know, bring them up to God and help to get healing and resolving. Pain is the process of growth. So don't run from your pain. Embrace your pain and you will grow. Because pain is the signal of death of the ego. And the death of the ego is the mark of spiritual growth and proximity to source, to God. Um, in this one caveat, he says, he says, beware of practicing your piety before men in order to be seen by them. So it's not discouraged about practicing before people. It's the motivation behind practicing before people. You understand? Sometimes as a leader, you might demonstrate something so that people can learn and be inspired to seek that out on their own. And that is good and necessary. And you should be led by the Spirit when you do that to avoid the ego trap. You understand? So don't just inherently judge somebody who's practicing on YouTube or before somebody say, Oh, they're immature. They're carnal. No, it's, it's based off of the motivation. It's, it's based off the Spirit behind it. So look deeper. Don't be so judgmental. Uh, get get the, the 
the pole out of your eye before you get the speck of dust out of somebody else's eye. And the reason Jesus said that is because you need to master yourself, not others. All right. I love y'all. Um, talk to you soon.